Judy will help. She's a mox too. Besides, we go back uh, yeah. years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So you'll yeah. be a good girl, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. This is V. She's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. Impressive looking setup. Need all this to process brain dances? Mm hmm. Analyzers, sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors, facial expression translators. <clears throat> Judy. All right. All right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to her. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside? Let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? What do you mean by raw? How's this differ from the ready-mades? Huh. Ready-mades, provided they're well-made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass market shit, so it's pre-crafted, hard-coded, fenced in, and manageable. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue in Viro. Get to move around, look at things in detail. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Create your sensory profile first. Okay, hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingle. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory six. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample view. It to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we? Can't you just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks. Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. What'd you choose? Corner store hold up in Haywood. Real amateurs. Don't even know where I got it. Suits our needs perfectly though. You ready? Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. 
They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Down, everybody! On the ground! What I see you kissing the flooring! Money! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. How is it? Too much. Well, you could feel the guy's pain, his, his stress, his hope. Hope wrapped up in something else. Mm-hmm. Probably took a booster just before. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. Sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array, you'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. All good. Neat. Now try fast-forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing off the screen. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't creep. You Full blast. They'll spot us Okay, right here. Excellent. Let's move on. Now, heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Okay, fuck! On your ah, little shitheads! Go restock, I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously, like it was happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hella nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. Everybody, Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, where I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa, hey, hey, now, before I blow... See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. 
Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? I don't know. I... Ugh, let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... <sighs> yeah. Think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Go ahead. Just need T-Buck to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Runner from my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Evelyn, I won't get a damn thing out of this without T-Bug. Judy, please. Ev, she wants to bring a runner in? What part of that don't you understand? How do I know she'll only perch in this footage, observe, not fuck with anything? Me. I'm your guarantee. Yeah, right. Help me. This one last time. I promise everything will work out. Just like we planned. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and the diamond. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Konpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Konpeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Judy and Evelyn, they're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh-huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen, need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've gotta give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay. Connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. Alright, V. Eyes open. Gotta find out where Yurinobu's keeping the relic. You look like a cunt of fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn, she... I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said, no. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But uh... Make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to... Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. Finish. We shall see soon enough. My father's a tired, visionless old gray beard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. We'll listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot. Wow. Champagne's Utterly decent. Removed from the taste boosted somehow? Stuck in no, some fossilized vision of a world Same bubbly, you'll that be no longer in real space exists. Soon. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we won't now.
Not it. In hmm. Hung up. Go back to when they first start talking. Need to hear the whole thing. Ah. Sorry to make you wait. Business can be stupid. Hmm. It wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense. Edgy. A moment. It will pass. Hmm. I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus. On me. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom. Nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. Very nice. But come here already. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect thing. Ah, oh, you'll like that. You. I know. Why not? Wait, sit down. Wake up. around here somewhere. Look for them. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. Oh, got any candy left? Steps <laughs> Manual details a special temp controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, Chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. We're looking at it. 
Just a fancy ass fridge. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. <laughs> Right, grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Yorinobu's got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We've got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Get everything you need? Yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Relax. I got it all under control. If you fuck up and they come knocking on my door, Judy, relax. That's not gonna happen. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. V? That you? Shit. I thought you were... gone. You're not alone in thinking me dead. Thought it was game over for me, too. Things went ass up, huh? Not as planned. Heard about the heist, I take it. Must have talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Whole damn city's heard. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. Know where she is? what I just say? Drop it. I won't tell you again. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I won't? Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? Telling every joy toy you meet to come here. What the hell am I supposed to do with them all? You so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guest. Sus, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. Don't give up, do you? Cotton. Susie seems to know what she wants. Is she your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the mocks? What was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Need to find out who she was working for. That's it? That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on her. Wouldn't make sense. Fine. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Zig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Mega Tower. <laughs> Luxurious. Wait. Um. Just let me know how she's doing. Okay. Give you a call. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, V. I see the only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. What have I missed this time? Enlighten me. 
brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Think Judy's lying. Why? Little something called intuition. Ever heard of it? Boss, what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. confirmed the identified virus. Called. <laughs> Promised I'd call, didn't I? Promising's one thing, keeping it's a whole other bag. So, managed to learn anything? Evelyn's not at Clouds anymore. Behavioral chip was damaged. Apparently, they carted her off to a Ripper Dock goes by fingers. Oh, shit. Know where to find this fingers character? Yeah. Runs a dinky chop shop off Jig Jig Street. Fuck me. Guys, all kinds of bad news. Heading there now, to find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from clouds. Oh, all right, later, V. Well, well, what do we got here? And you just the cutest thing. If you're looking for a release, I just might be your man. Got a message for Fingers. Comes from the Tiger Claws. And that message would be? Two things. Urgent and confidential. Meaning? Meaning you've got a choice. Oh, yeah? You either get your shit kicked in for being slow, or for being a nosy prick. Fine. Let her through, sludge. Hey! Hands off! Think I'm scared of your skinny ass? You will be when every mock in town descends on this shithole. You got a financial claim? Take it to court, you Fuck pussy. Up and leave me be. V, hey. Fine, I get it. Everyone's got their breaking point. Just pay me what you owe me. Hello! There's a line! Nuh-uh, you ain't cutting. Sit your ass Fingers down back. and wait your turn! You know, heard some things, yeah. Like... His hand sometimes slips. Glad to see a familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. Hey, look in the mirror. Who paid for all that? After the heist, Evelyn holed up with the Mox for a while, right? That's right. So why the hell did she go back to Clouds? <laughs> Thought she'd be safer there. God knows why. Tried to get her to see straight, but she wouldn't listen. Mox don't happen to have fingers in their crosshairs. No, why? Her joy toys come out of his clinic in worse shape than they come in. Yeah, well... Can't solve all the world's problems at once. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls, see if we can cut in front. Why me? I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. She means a lot to you, doesn't she? And you've arrived at that conclusion how exactly? The moment you knew where she was, you sprang into action. Once you get close to Evelyn, you never want to let her go. Think Evelyn's being kept here somewhere? On the one hand, hope she is, because I want her back fast. But on the other, hope to God, no. Because who knows what that sick fuck could have done to her. You worked at Clouds. Not as a doll. Tuned their virtues. That's where I met Ev, Tom, and the rest of the crew. Someone ain't messing around! What the hell? The? Hey, this isn't some esquif den in Pacifica. Sit in, wait your turn. Where's Evelyn Parker? I know she wound up here at your clinic. Evelyn. Evelyn. Hmm. Think real hard now. You see, my patient here is likely to feel ever so slightly awkward if I leave half her face off. Fine, I'll wait. I need 
need you to be a big girl now. This could hurt. Bear with me just one more second. There. How's it feel? <laughs> Fine, I guess. Looks fine, too. And it never hurts to smile, sweetheart. You tiger claws! Far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the mocks. The mocks? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? Heard you help the working girls around here. Well, very few children will play with broken toys. So when skin goes flabby, sockets go out of whack, implants malfunction, I I'm sure you get the gist. You pay for goods, you expect top quality. Consumerism 101. Please, scrapyards offer better quality than this. Already told you. I'm looking for a woman named Evelyn Parker. Need to know where she is. Step into my office. Please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like like they deserve it. Of course. I can't remember each and every one. Locks have got a low tolerance for scum like you. Right now, I'm the one thing standing between you and a particularly feisty and furious member of the gang. So tell me where Evelyn is, or I'll let her talk to you. Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. Mentioned you couldn't help her. Help her with what, exactly? If I only knew, I wager she'd be standing here, happy and smiling. Instruction register on her chip was burnt to a crisp. Tried replacing it. Nothing. Any idea what caused the damage? Tech was top-notch. Didn't go kerplunk on its own, that's for sure. Saying she was targeted. A net runner, as I see it. One with some serious code up their sleeve, too. Get to the point! The point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now, either you put a muzzle on this creature, or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. Don't talk to her like that. She insulted me! Look, the quicker you spill, the shorter you'll have to put up with us. Now, Evelyn Parker, where is she? Could very well be on her way to becoming the next underground brain dance, darling. That's all I know. What do you mean by underground? I don't know. I mean, I don't watch that sort of stuff. Snuff? XBDs? I told you I don't know. You sure about this? Four days I had her here. She was out cold in La La Land for practically every minute. It wasn't a slumber party. We didn't have pillow fights and promised to send each other postcards. Where will we find her? How many times do I have to repeat myself? I, I don't know. I, I did what anyone in my place would do. When I realized I wouldn't be able to help her, patch her up, I called my fixer. Two guys came and 
Picked her up the same day. Who'd you call? Who's your fixer? Wakako. Told her I had a busted doll with a BD implant to hand off. Where did they take her? I told you already. I don't know. They weren't the talkative kind, and I'm no gonk. I know better than to ask questions of people like that. You're no gonk? What do you think? Why'd all these girls come in here, let you grope around them? Think it's for your charm? Your caring attitude? They do it because they got no choice. And in the end, they despise you. They can smell you pathetic. These guys, what did they look like? Like you, me, anyone else in this city. Really, now? They looked like you? They looked like the kind of guys you don't make eye contact with. One of them was a bearded fellow. The two that came for her didn't say anything about where they'd take her, what they were gonna do to her. Mentioned something about virtues with a moth, of all things. Said she'd be perfect for them, whatever that means. But that's really all I know. You ponder off like she was some fucking inanimate mannequin. Because that's exactly what she was. Need air. I'll be outside. She, uh, overdid it a bit. Timber's been running high lately. Yes, well, you're a far more reasonable beast. Prettier, too. I let her go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. Don't worry. We'll find her. I know it. We'll fucking find what's left of her butchered corpse. Hey! Keep it together! Wanna give up now? No. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the Death's Head. Better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. Death's Head symbol bring anything to mind. Anything. Doesn't matter how small. This industry i mean market's looking for every kind of fetish out there it's cavernous but an xbd outfit would be on the move almost always it makes them harder to nab harder to sting need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff gotta be a rat hole of some sort doubt they do much shooting on location yeah gotta be somewhere quiet out of the way could be we'll see something to point us in their direction and one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Everyone, everything, leaves something behind. Just need to know where to look. Lucky for me, I'm running around with the best BD specialist in town. That's an extra pair of expert eyes. Well, your BD expert has a better idea. Pleasures of Night City, a domain with its twin on the dark net. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. Let me think for a sec. Darknet domain. That's our best bet. Let's stick to the plan. Fine. Here's hoping you turn up something useful. I'll wait in the van. Hop in. Hey, V. Let me get everything prepped. You make sure the wreath's snug on you. You'll watch while I edit in real time. The old one, too. Ready when you are. I want you to describe what you see. Might catch something like this.
ordered recently. Poor fucker. Scav, gotta be. No one else with that kind of fashion sense. Electric cork patch on the coveralls. Ordinary box. Decker, Tanaka, and Rogers logo. Standard for a trash heap. Scab woman. Who knew that sides chopping people up, they were scrolling XPDs. Can't beat that rich synth cough aroma. Cheap shit. Cold too. Mm-hmm. Buck a slice. Radio's turned way up. Probably to drown. Coffee was cold. Okay. We're looking for an electric core power plant located near a bucket slice. So? Means someone DC grabbing bucket slice regular complex. Which is not Hill. something one does for the Bucca flavor slice and special too. Pizza shares its DNA with styrofoam. Nobody's gonna schlep across town for it. Here we go. Old electric core power plant in Charter Hill. Gotta make do with that for now. Nothing else to garner from the school. No time to lose. We gotta go there. Definitely. Ride with me? Let's get going. On our way. If you have the strength, go to work. If you don't, you go anyway. Either die in the jungle. And here we are. We going in? Find us a way inside. I'll hang back, scan the subnet, see if there's any blueprints of the complex lying around. Join you as soon as I find something. Let's link on Hollow till then. It's not gonna be pretty in there. So? If you mean to tell me to hang back altogether, don't bother. All right, going in. Evelyn. Just don't touch her. If she's recording, you'll scramble her brain. Wait until I cut her link. Grab it and tell me when you're gonna yank it. I'll break the link at my end at the same time. All right, let's do this. Wait for my signal. Here goes. Ready? And... Now! Thank God. Ev? Evelyn, you hear me? She okay to be moved? No brain hemorrhages, damage to the spine? It doesn't seem to have any wounds. Guess we got no choice. What's wrong with her? Honestly, I don't know. She's gotta be seriously traumatized. Let's get her somewhere safe. Fast, too. Which way? I sealed the doors and managed to power the elevators. Elevators it is, then. Come on, is it really that hard? Please, just one. For me? Fine, have it your way. Smoke to your lungs content. Ah, oh, finally. Something better than exhaust in the stench of the city. Don't tell me you don't feel it. We going in? Let's give him a couple. You saw how she looked. 
If it was up to me, I would have splashed some water on her face back at the studio and asked her straight up. It's not up to you, though, is it? Let's go. She's sleeping. Uh, at least I think she is. Her eyes are closed and she's not shaking anymore. I would have already killed her by now if I didn't feel so bad for her. How's she feeling? Use your imagination. That place sucked every last drop of humanity from her. It's not enough. She already gave up everything she had. I just kept taking more and more. She's in some kind of trance, like she's folded into herself. No reaction to her surroundings whatsoever. I really, really didn't want to poke around in her head. I did it for you. I just want you to know that. I need to talk to her. Listen, I know you've got some serious questions that she's got the answers to. I mean, if I were you, I'd want to know too. But it's just not gonna happen. She's completely out of it. You've gotta be fucking kidding me. You're mad at her. Why? When you asked me to scour her behavioral chip, I was just about done dealing with your shit. Judy, I didn't have any- I know. It's okay. So I don't get why- You'll find out in a sec. I'll show you the virtue I found. Guessing you saw them already. Yeah, had to wrestle to make sense of the whole thing. But I don't want to say anything and taint your perspective. You should go in with fresh eyes. How many BDs did you manage to rip? Two. Only one of them's intact. Understandable, though. The rest... Well, they're in the same shape as Evelyn right now. Okay. Show me. Give me a sec while I set the parameters. Guess we'll find out if our doll really did lose her tune. Come on, V. I'll be the first to admit, this does not look good. Hey, how you feeling? Need anything? Not here to nag. Just talk. Well, now, look at you. Have a seat. All right, roll it. Data was in pretty rough shape. Not all that editable. Huh. Glad you managed to salvage him in the first place. Needs a second to load. Quality's lousy, but I did what I could. What am I looking out for? Every single piece of tech I see? Security? We need a layout of the whole room. We will get everything else we need from the virtue. What about his messages? Only if you can do it and be parfait, Boris. It's most important that he suspect nothing. Try to be your usual, relaxed self. And if he starts talking about the biochip himself, uh, should I... Biochip? Where you hear this? That is not of interest to you. You spin the virtue, you come back here. We give you the eddies. That is your one job. The rest is none of your concern. Understand. What am I looking at? Take a look at the What am I looking at? Every single piece of tech I see. Eater. Eater. I think I recognize these. What are they? Vive markings. You familiar with them? Not enough to know what they actually mean. Part of who might use them, no? Who? Could be the voodoo boys. But that's just a hunch. Can't be 100% sure. 
the spine-chilling Netrunner crew hard to find because they don't want to be. I wouldn't know where to start. Can't see her face. <sighs> Under normal circumstances, Every. that kind of encryption is easy Every to crack. Every single piece of tech I see is too Whoever she is, what about a chance to get serious? It's more the point that he was like nothing. That, Try to be your someone's usual. working it for her. Relax, self. And... And if he struck the edge? Might not be important. Maybe, but all of them are from Pacifica. Narrows down our search, at least. What now? Looks like I'm going on a field trip to Pacifica. All right, think we got everything. What do you think? The one who hired Evelyn. Any idea who we're up against? Your guess is as good as mine. Sorry, V. Now we know what happened at Clouds. They're the ones who tried to flatline her. Launched a nuke at her chip. So it was punishment? For getting played by her? She knew more than they thought she knew. Couldn't let that go. So that's who she was running from. Looks like Evelyn never told us the whole truth. You're telling me. If I'd known what she'd gotten herself into... Ugh, I'm so mad at her. Her only job was to record a virtue. Pretty damn amazing she managed to organize a full-blown heist. And swipe the biochip from under her boss's noses. So that's where you came in. She hired you. And brought this all on herself. On you two. There's one more recording. Wanna see it? Sure, why not? Nothing can surprise me at this point. Oui, lui allez. Vous avez une raison, vous êtes tout intelligent pour ça. Vous êtes bien. Vous n'êtes pas enragé. En plus. C'est le plus bon moyen de nous gagner pour nous arriver sur les gens. Il faut que nous prenions chance là. Vous gagnez une plus bonne idée Très bien. Si vous décidez si ce point critique est ça, je pense, à continuer à faire le travail. Quelle langue est-ce que vous parlez Je ne sais pas. Haitian Creole Oui. C'est le plus bon. Oui. Je ne sais pas. Je ne sais pas. Wait, let me see if I've got an auto-translator. Meantime, you try to tune into the phone's frequency. See what the other side's saying. Got it. Give it a second. Heard her mention you're a Nobu. Probably why Evelyn buried this recording deep. Cut another name. Something like... Silverhand? We have to know what they're saying. Could be important. Fine. Just found the auto-translate package. Should get along fine with your system. I'll install it now. Mon plus. Mon plus. C'est le plus bon moyen de nous gagner pour nous arriver sur Yon Nobu. Faut que nous pour chance là. Mon direct Ok, I don't get it. What's this have to do with John Silverhand? He died like forever ago. V, you got any idea? Biochip we stole? It's got Silverhand's engram burned onto it. Engram? Digitized psyche. Personality construct. Can you give me a minute? I need to go over some stuff in my head. Uh, um, of course.
Know who they are, who the woman is? Any idea how we find them? Fuck, V. I've been dead the last half century. Sorry if I'm unable to hand you all the answers on a chrome fucking platter when you snap your fingers. These people, what could they want from Alt? How the hell should I know? Got no notion whatsoever? One way or another, everything leads back to that Netrunner. Finding her is our biggest priority. If she knows as much as I think she knows about the chip, she can help us out. Thought you said nothing could help us. Nah, just find us that Juju Wirehead, okay? Wait, you got any idea how to get in touch with the Voodoo Boys? Why? Worried that I'll give Evelyn up to him? No. I didn't trust you at first, but... Well, if you wanted to get back at Evelyn, you would have done it already. So why the worried look? I just... I want it all to work out for you. You got a plan? I'll ask around. Make a few calls. Let me put it this way. The Voodoo Boys wouldn't trust a cat if it walked onto their turf. But someone's gotta know a way in. Well, good luck. I hope you won't need it. Thanks, Judy. No, V. Thank you. You're a... You're a good person. Evelyn could never see what was under people's skin. If she could have gotten to know you a bit better, then... Who knows? Things might have turned out differently. Hey, Judy, what's up? Hey. Can you come over, Stat? Something happened? Yeah. Just come. In the bathroom! Oh, fuck. Bird offs herself to express her undying gratitude to you for saving her ass. Stop talking. I was, I was only gone an hour. You, you checked your pulse? V She's gone. How did this happen? I don't know. I told you. Evie was lying in bed like always. When I went out. And I got back to... Fuck. If I had just known, I'd have... Don't blame yourself. It won't solve anything. I should have sensed something. That it was off. Stop. Couldn't watch her 24-7. She'd made up her mind. Would have found a way. Always. Gotta do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! What part of dead don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. You don't want to move your asses. Why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. The 
They'll be here soon. <sighs> Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? All things considered, you let them off pretty light. Had it been me, they'd have gotten an earful like nobody's biz. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Close the door, V. Please. A cig. Didn't know you smoked. <sighs> Quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Fine, here. That was her smoke case. Wanna hold on to it? No. You seem to like it. Keep it. Kinda glad it's you that has it, actually. Let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. I don't know what to say. Never was any good at this stuff. Oh, you don't need to talk. I did more for her than anyone else. I had a motive to find her, Judy. You know that. It's what you bring that counts. You gave her the freedom to choose. Yeah, maybe. Just never imagined she'd choose this. Remember Fingers? How he said Evie was with him for four days. Uh-huh. Did say so. She disappeared from clouds a week before you turned up. Tom told me later. Couldn't sleep at night knowing that. Kept thinking, what the hell happened to those other three days, so... I did some more digging in her virtues. Found Woodman. He kept her. Had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. Wait, so you found other recordings? Had another look at the corrupted ones. You know, lots of static. Hard to pick up anything, really. At some point, I... stumbled on something like an echo of the spat we'd had. Last time we saw each other. But I know she wasn't scrolling. Why was it saved as a virtue? Got no explanation for it. Maybe... she recalled it later, relived it, almost. Implant could have been on when... you know... As a defense mechanism, escaping into the past so as not to live in the present. What did Woodman do to her? Did you see it? Yeah. And I really wish I could unsee it. I zeroed Woodman. Didn't plan on it, just how the chips landed. Glad I did, though. Me too. I can't even imagine. Still, it's not enough. There are so many more like him. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Suze. Thanks, V. Sorry. 
But, uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Sure you don't need anything? No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. How you feeling? Shitty, but something came to me. Gotta give yourself time to grieve, Judy. Experience all its stages. Feel them. Let them play out. Shock, anger, depression. I'd say I'm on anger. I'm gonna stay here for a while, too. I can work with anger. So what did you come up with? The mocks died. Lizzie's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. It belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. You stink of junk food. I am familiar with the story. Things did not go that smoothly. I didn't say they did. Didn't say they would. But Evie thought Clouds would be safe. You saw how far that got her. How she ended. V. I can't stand by and let things go on like this. Sure you've thought this through, Judy? Carefully? I haven't thought it through at all. All I know is the mocks didn't turn things around by sitting on their tanned and toned asses doing nothing. Got the mocks to agree to take over Clouds? No, I'm trying to get you. Know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Oh, yes. Okay, so what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Michael Maeda. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Michael Maeda? Who is she exactly? Girl who unofficially runs Clouds. Good at it, too. What'd she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. Sure Maiko's gonna want to join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Any chance she'll slap us around and then shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that? How well do you know this, Maiko? Too well. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. Oh, scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak Every in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. <laughs> hey, V. Thanks for showing. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Some deets about her could be useful. When I talk to her, don't you think? No. Leave the talking to me. So, in brief, I'm just here as your hustle, right? Never said that. I just know the woman better. How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth. About Evelyn, what happened, and why. Think that'll cut it? No. Have to improvise from there. You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on, I'll open it. Looks like you've come this way before. More than once. <laughs> I have, on occasion. Easy as pie, yeah. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. 
I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yup, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the Mox. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. You somehow never fail to lower my expectations. First you settle for the Mox, now murderers. I shudder to think what's next. Yes, V. I mean you. Sounds like I left a mark on this place. Good. If by mark you mean buckets of blood, then yeah, congrats. Oh, don't mind me. Just here to blend into the decor. That's no reason. Why come at all? To make sure Judy gets what she came for. Jude would have had a better chance without you. Judy has a proposal about clouds. Want to come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the Tiger Claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay, since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? Judy's idea? Think about it. Could work. Well, well, Jude. See, you found a true and loyal fan. Called me a murderer. You're right. I killed Woodman. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. And if I had known what he did to Evelyn when she needed help, I wouldn't have gone so easy on him. Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Read negligible. Does it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. That went smoothly. She totally blew us off. Probably needs some time to think. A couple days, tops. And you might be right. I'll call her tomorrow. You two have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, 
Used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding, do you good? Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah. You, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow I don't see it. No. Me in a deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. the ground floor to get out of this place. I really don't understand what tits have to do with selling that garbage. Can't say no to tits. Rest can go fuck itself. Hey, if it works, claim the corpse all you want, but at the end of the day, it says more about us than them. Biz is biz and tits are biz. It's like junk food. We've People don't buy it because they're gunk. They're just story. poor. A Kang Tao AV has crashed inside of Night City. The aircraft's thrusters were deactivated by sudden EMP discharge. What's the matter? What's going on? It's nothing. Okay, so nothing I can do if you don't tell me. <laughs> Guess that's that. Oh, man. You're screwing with my head. There's that Tom. Yelling comes I get back to Michael with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. For a minute there, thought you were about to call it quits. B, I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? Minuscule. Same as Michael's empathy. Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. You know, I'm also partial to specifics. Uh-huh. So that's what matters. How many you'll drop. How much ammo you'll use. How many eddies it'll get you. Art and dreams of freedom can't be everyone's food. Sometimes. You gotta deal with the dirt. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. And thanks. There's no sense? Jenny. So? Fine, got do a whatever plan? the fuck you want. Damn right I do. Hello, V. Come over Please, to mine come tonight. In. Gonna lay the ground work with Tom and Roxy. Jefferson will join us shortly. They're with us. Michael will be here, too. How'd you manage that? Got something really big. Tell you everything tonight. Last thing, what do you like on your pizza? a and &A. Artichokes and avocado flavor. And zucchini for good measure. Ooh, fancy. So, I'll see you come evening. You gonna tell me this big secret of yours? Figured out how to tweak behavioral chips. Turn dolls into fighters. Sounds like my kind of plan. 
We'll go over the specifics tonight. You're coming, right? Of course I'll be there. Hey V, come on in. Pizza's getting cold. You made it, good. Grab a seat. This is Roxanne. She's worked at Clouds longer than any of us. Hello. Hey, nice to meet you. When I heard what you pulled at Clouds, shit, I so regretted I was off that day. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? Come here, cuz you want payback for what happened to her? That's for sure. But I just want to have a normal job, too. No fears, no tears, you know? Are you and Evelyn close? Yeah. Blew up in her face when she showed up back at Clouds. She was supposed to be long gone, the one who got away. But deep in my heart, I was glad to see her back. I feel like such a gunk now. You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? Subtlety comes naturally to you, doesn't it? Yeah, odd. Given how much work I gotta put into it. Done saying hello to each other? Revolution won't plan itself. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. Fine, I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on top. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. Solo skills don't lie in just executing movements. There are split-second processes that happen. Logistics, decision-making, result of years of practice. Doubt your chip's capable of compensating for that. You're probably right, but I don't see another way. Alternatives intensive training, but we don't have time for that. How did you ever come up with this? Learned how the behavioral chip works at Clouds. Always seemed like they must be pretty easy to modify. I'm surprised I didn't get the idea the moment we walked into Maiko's office. Count yourself lucky. What with all the cams and mics and clouds, Tiger Claws would sooner dig those chips out of the dolls with screwdrivers than let an idea like this run its course. All right. Gotta see it to believe it. Finally, someone said it. Tom? Pulled that sequence from a Kung Fu training virtue. Gotta admit, not bad. Yeah, for the market square in Kabuki. Uh, before we start talking serious biz, gonna need to see serious action. You just saw him. I saw a bar trick. I wanna see a fight. Got an expert in causing bodily harm among us. I wanna see how Tommy handles her. V? Just don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now! What the? Ah! You there? Can you hear me? 
Look at me go. You see that? Woo! Nice Gotta work, do some Judy. Cardio. I did yourself. If you were to sell that, be the richest Judy in the NUSA. Please. Plenty of killing machines in the world. I don't want to turn more people into them. After this, chips are getting micro-nuked. <sighs> okay. Probably settles it. The chip works. Let's get to it then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out, clouds will be ours. Bosses, we'll give an ultimatum. A cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again. And having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought. A half-baked, insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato is the man you gotta get to. Hiromi Sato? Who's that? Cloud's real boss. He rarely shows, but you can't so much as sneeze without him finding out. Claws trust him, respect his opinion. He is one of them. We can try to convince him, but it's doubtful. We stand a better chance by injecting him with a dose of fear. Where do we find this Hiromi? At his apartment, H8 Mega Tower, topmost floor. It's a penthouse, almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. Tom and Roxanne gonna come with? No. Whole points to strike both places at the same time. They'll take care of business at Clouds. Two pronged assault. Loving it. Wouldn't it be better to ambush him on the street, like, while he's chomping on a scop dog or taking a piss in a back alley? Why even try breaking into a penthouse? Probably crawling with guards. Hiromi don't go anywhere without security. So one, makes no difference. Two, this is only a show of force demonstrating what we are capable of. Which is a lot more than street thuggery. So how about it, V, Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know. I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. Sticking our precious necks out for a bunch of whores? Count me in, Judy. Already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. Save the gratitude for later, please. Ugh. I'll set up the meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Michael, hold up. Give us a lift. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine coming on. Oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do, well, usually comes with a price tag, I know. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Feels like it's only right. Judy! For real? No. Don't want to hear it. But uh, uh, uh. Not a word. Uh, uh, uh. V, everything okay? V, you don't look so hot. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm better. Fine. What the hell, V? You, like, sick? Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? The relic I was gonna club? <sighs> Couldn't forget that in a million years. That biochip? Well, long story short, it had Johnny Silverhand's mind on it. An engram of it that's overriding my mind. You being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. Fuck. Anything at all you can do? One can hope. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Sounds great. Thanks. Don't worry about it. 
Make yourself at home. Hey V, Michael called. Before sundown, out front of the Mega Tower. Gonna be there? Of course I will. See you then. He came. Molded over in my head, y'all were right. Sometimes the only rational course of action is a kick in the nuts and a bullet between the eyes. You nervous, Tom? How'd you know? First time you've done anything like this. Just imagine you're doing what a doll does. Just a different program. You're great at that. Any idea how I can get to Hiromi? Pulled the blueprint, got it all figured out. Not all, but we're good on the penthouse. Best bets to access it from the service level. Got a way in from there. Just remember, let the behavioral chip do what it wants. Got no time to deliberate and weigh decisions. Just follow your instincts. Freeze, tense up even for a second. Could cost you your life. And Michael, where's she? Meeting with Hiromi to avoid raising any suspicions. She'll make him stay put until we're in. All right, we going in? Let's do this. What then? Everyone all in position? Tom and Roxy should already be at clouds. We go on Maiko's signal. They'll mop up security, you deal with Hiromi. But first, you gotta get into the penthouse. Not coming with me? More likely not to be detected if you're alone. Besides, I'll be more useful here. If they activate any alarms, I can override. Get in breach, security. Get me in the penthouse. Thought I could do it, but... Sorry, it's not gonna happen. Gotta manage on your own. Okay. On my way. Elevators on the other side. Be safe. Here, finally. I was beginning to think you wouldn't make it. Right, wrong. Chicks will give you shit no matter what you do. This one's a real charmer, too. I don't like her either. Tries too hard. Didn't want to trip any alarms. Had to come through quietly. Fast forward a year. Can we get this over with? Why are there three guys? What's she playing at? That's our target. Hiromi Sato. What are they watching? Demo reel of Cloud's next top doll. Specially selected by yours truly. The lucky girl's gonna replace Evelyn. Hope she proves smarter. Who are the other two? Target audience of today's presentation. Hiromi answers to them directly. Now they're gonna watch him die in a pool of his own piss. This is not what we agreed. Look at me. See this? 
This is a look of unfucking surprise on my I know face. the claws. To them, power is a question of strength, ruthlessness. This is the only way. Michael! I'm about to jack him out. They will not be chirpy after the rude awakening. One show ends, another begins. Just as good and unforgettable. Understand? Michael, our plan made no allowance for witnesses. A show of force, we said. And any show requires an audience. I know how this needs to play out, better than anyone. You gotta trust me. I thought this through many times. Meaning you want to replace her only. Mm-hmm. Even if that means joining the Tiger Claws. How the fuck else do you expect me to protect clouds from other gangs? Don't like this one bit. Too late for second thoughts. Tom and Roxy have done their part. Your little doll revolution is underway. Either we consolidate and win it all, or let everything go to waste. Do your thing. Well, she is no Barker. Wait. What's going on? Who is this? Living proof that Hiromisado's time is up. This merc has already disturbed the clientele at Clouds once. She murdered Oswald Forrest. And now she's invaded Mr. Sato's private residence. As if that were not enough, this is where Hiromi's sheer incompetence has led all of us to. What? What the hell? I have long looked upon Hiromisado's foolish, inept endeavors. But this? I think it's obvious he has outlived his usefulness. V, what the fuck's she doing? Clouds needs new management. Hold on, Michael. Think you're getting carried away. I see not all has been agreed. V, you gotta take him down. That's why we're here. Bored of all this chatter. I'd rather we just cut to the quick. No, you... What might that be? They'll have their revenge. You've turned clouds into a ticking time bomb. Tried to pull a fast one on everybody, didn't ya? Jumped aboard the Liberation Train, pretending you wanted to help. But all you wanted was to take Hiromi's place. Bravo, but you missed just one detail. I still can. And no one can stop me. Not their corpses, not yours. All right, V, get out of there. Exit's on the lower level of the apartment. Then find the elevator. Fuck. Should have seen that coming. Probably had this planned from the start. Same sec we walked into her office. Jesus, am I a gunk. Don't be dramatic, Judy. There's a difference between being a gunk and believing people want to do good. I know you do. I don't need to believe that. I just know it. Thank you. See you later, V. See you around, Judy. Hey, Jude. What's up? Ah, uh, you know, same old. You? <laughs> Funny, I was just thinking about you. So, do I got amazing timing, or are you always thinking about me? You know, I could be cursing your name in my thoughts. Oh, hey. I'm just glad you remember me at all. Cause I got a favor to ask. Ask away. It's never boring with you. Interesting people aren't easily bored. Not in your company. Okay, now that we've blown each other, what's up? You're on a need-to-know basis. So, this particular mission don't require you to have no gun. Just a wetsuit. 
say I'm intrigued. Why the wetsuit? Can't back out now. Just gonna have to use your imagination. Really know how to reel me in, don't you? Ain't seen nothing yet. All right, then count me in. But I gotta warn you, I look great in a wetsuit. Believe it when I see it. Damn out past Rancho Coronado. Know it? Sure. What about it? Little, uh, abandoned bungalow lakeside. Meet me there. At sundown. Okay, um... Is this a date? Guess you'll have to find out. We'll have to. See ya, V. Looking good? You mean, considering the shit we've been through? Well, factor that in and you look fucking amazing. Any news from the Moxers? Events? Ideas? Don't know. Don't see all that much of them. How come? You know how they are. Piss me off sometimes, is all. So what's the latest from Clouds? Know anything? Nothing of any interest. We've got a new situation, and everybody's trying to adapt. Me too. Doesn't sound like it's all okay. Doesn't mean it isn't. Something got you down all of a sudden? Um, no. Judy? Can we please not talk about clouds, the mocks, or Arasaka and Militech, and how the world's going to shit? Just... Rather not think about any of that today. Anything dark. So, ready to tell me what we're doing here? Well, been tinkering with virtues a lot lately and figured out a way to scroll two actors' experiences at the same time. Thought we could try it out. If you're down, of course. What do I gotta do? You, my friend, are just gonna scroll me a virtue. That's it. Now, now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This could be my greatest work, ever. Sounds like we could do this anywhere. Why did we come all the way out here? What is this place? Cottage belonged to someone I knew. It sits empty now. I take the liberty to use it from time to time. And that's where we're gonna scroll? No, we're gonna scroll underwater. Nope, no way. Bad idea. Tell her to find some other yes woman. What do you say? You in? Why would you say that? I don't know. Don't like the idea, that's all. It's just, when I think about the dark, the deep, palms that I don't fucking have get clammy with sweat I don't secrete. You're more than welcome to stay on shore. Hell yeah, I'm in. Awesome. So, uh, let's go. Got the hardware here. All right, get that booty of yours suited up. Let's get this scroller on you. Water's toxic, that not a problem? Whole reason we're suiting up. Haven't even asked me if I know how to swim. Not worried I'll just sink to the bottom like a bag of rocks? A bag of rocks? Come on, don't sell yourself short. Look pretty damn fine in that wetsuit. You should see me in my Max Tech uniform. Whoa, mean you have one? Indeed I do. Won it in a bet. Still hangs in my closet, waiting for the right occasion. Huh. I'm gonna hold you to that. All right, let's do this. Whew, freezing ass water, here I come. 
Okay, we're all set. You go first. Stay close behind me, and don't descend too fast. Where are we headed, exactly? About halfway to the deepest point. It'll be pitch black, but the currents are gentle. Ought to be safe. Want the precise coordinates? No, oh, I bother. I'll just stay close to you. Okie dokes. Virtues are more to you than just a way to turn out eddies, huh? Well, duh. Think it. Paintings, songs. They're meant to produce emotion responses. Generally how any kind of creativity works, sure. Right, so art's a casing, trigger for emotion. Well, BDs are emotion in near pure form. This is it. few basic checks. Need to calibrate our gear. First up, motion sensors and scrolling. Circle around me, swim. Great, motion calibrated. Now swim hither. Next up, sound check. I'm gonna hum a song, you give me the title. Read me. I know that. Eddie Sorrentino, only you. Never did go in for sentimental stuff. Got stuck in my head lately, though, that one. All right, that ought to do it. We are now... Synced. Why now? Prepare to have your mind blown. Wait for it. Grab this and hold on tight. Down we go. That's incredible. What is it? Our very own Atlantis. It used to be called Laguna Bend. Just 15 years ago, people still lived here. Yeah, I remember. MC Dam Limited made plans to build a dam. People protested, and the rest is history. Houses, playgrounds, all flooded. Got some connection to this place, right? You got it. Grew up here. Haven't been back since Laguna Bend was wiped off the map. Why are you showing me this? It's important to me. Got a feeling this will be perfect for my experiment. Sounds Nova. Let's do this. Played this moment coming back so many times in my head. Taken me years working up the nerve for this. Why didn't you come earlier? Good question. Easy answer would be that I didn't have time. Gear, stars weren't ever aligned. Truth is, the very idea just felt weird. Besides, didn't want to come here alone. Or with some rando. Flows 
best eatery in town. Only one at that, too. Burgers weren't amazing, too greasy. Big. Of course, I say that now. Back then, they were the best thing I'd ever chewed and swallowed. And next door, that's where we lived. Me and my grandparents. Just let me know when you want to forge ahead. Looks like this fell off your one and only eatery. Let's see now, your childhood tasted like scop dog from Capitan Caliente with habanero sauce extra hot. Of course, tasted even better when you stole them off the stand. You know what they say, it ain't caliente if it don't burn on the way in and out. Weird place for a framed picture. Water probably carried it out of someone's house. Anything to make out? No, not much. Got something here. Looks like an old photo cam. DPI 350. Practically an antique. Like it? You kidding? It's awesome. Is there a skating rink here? I wish. Played street hockey on rollerblades. Quit schmoozing, Alfred. Quit schmoozing, Alfred. Quit schmoozing because of you. Call me! Call me! You're dead meat anyway. 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 Sorry, you gotta go. They're calling! They're calling! They're calling! Here, take this camera. Better off in your hands than sitting here collecting algae. Gosh, thanks. What about your parents? Dad was never in the picture. Mom died when I was tiny. Can barely remember her. I still have her picture, but, you know, I see a stranger there. Judy, Judy, watch out for her cutie. She can't even afford to have parents. <laughs> Who's that? Those voices. Voices? Didn't hear anything but you just now. What was it like, living with your grandparents? How were they? Granddad had a real knack for things, technical. Taught me everything I know. And the stories he told, ugh, never got bored listening to him. And Grandma was temperamental. Hot one second, cool as steel the next. Where'd your grandparents go, Night City? Yeah, for a couple years. Rented the unit that's mine now. But they hated the city. Moved up to Oregon. I still go and visit them sometimes. Let's keep going, Judy. Aye, aye, Captain. Follow me. We're looking for anything in particular here? Nah. Can't hurt to look around, though. Picking up very chill vibes. Feels like we're outside of time, like in a snow globe. After that, we can see what lies up ahead. Anything that could be more out of place in an underwater world. Mmm. Bottled water? <laughs> touche, Judy, touche. I gotta say, don't really get why they left their wheels behind when they had to evacuate. Hey, how old do you think I am? These hunks of metal have got half a century on them. When I was about yay high, they were already here. And not in much better shape. It's good cover for playing Max Tack and Psychos, though. This isn't yours? Been here all alone for 20 years. So 
it is yours. No. It was Jenny Chapman's. You took her doll? As if. Hit it. It was a monster. You hit it? W why? Because I thought only losers played with dolls. What I really wanted was for her to notice me. Ah, the days when dolls were just kids' toys and nothing else. Want to see what's further on? Come on, then. Want to show you something. Got no idea how weird it feels swimming through here. Where you used to run as a kid. Where daily life grinded along. Can imagine it a bit. Church hasn't aged at all. It always looked old and like it had landed here from outer space. Bells were cracked too. Gave off this eerie atonal clang. Weird, I had no memory of that seconds ago. Now I can almost hear them. Don't know how it's possible, but I think I hear those bells too. Seriously, you can hear my memories? It must be a side effect. Ah, closed. Shame. Could look for another way inside. Be my guest. You like going to this church? Never actually went to church. Never even really paid attention to it. It was just there, you know? Once we knew Laguna Bend was to be flooded, people gathered here to plan a protest. Found an opening. Think we're safe to go through here. On my way. Snuck in here once when no one was around. Stood at the altar and tried to imagine what went through the Padre's mind, looking at all those people. Back then, I wondered how he could read people's thoughts and know everything about them. Then I screamed at the top of my lungs to check the acoustics. Didn't get chased off? Ran out myself. Echo, I got back scared the little bejesus out of me. Thought it was that crush I had on Jenny Chapman. All that guilt I tried yelling out flew right back in my face. Out. How'd you manage to lift me out? Dunno, didn't think about it. Just did what I had to do. Hey, careful, easy now. So, you're saying you saved my life. Thank you. Told you diving into this toxic waste was gonna end badly. But you just don't fucking listen. Toxic waste? Is that your construct? You heard him? Uh, heard's overstating. It's just surfaced in my head. A thought that wasn't mine or completely yours. Please just ignore his babbling. It's a mm, complicated relationship. Why do I even bother? I doubt you should go back to the city just now. I'm pretty beat too. Last thing I want to do is drive. Let's stay the night. What do you think? Stay where, exactly? Are we gonna camp on the shore? Nope. There. Our cottage for the day. How about it? Why the hell not? Whose cottage is that, then? You said you knew the owner. One of our neighbors was hell-bent on staying in Laguna Bend. Badges literally dragged him out of his house before the water came in. 
So he built himself another house as close as he possibly could, but then he got sick. Water was way more toxic back then. You must be chilled to the bone. I'll brew a pot. How do you take yours? Splash of milk will do. <laughs> Same as me. Ah, forgot to start the generator. A generator? What's next? Jacuzzi? <laughs> Finnish sauna? No, but there is running water. I could turn it on. You're gonna take it easy. Promise to take it slow. What an incredible dive. Doesn't get more relaxing than that. Speaking of arms, 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 Power's up. Your little spa is open for business. So be careful. Of course I will be. Shit. What was that? Couldn't hear you clearly. Something the matter? No, nothing. You thinking about Evelyn? Cloud says, gone to shit. Tiger Claw no next took revenge for Hiromi and the rest. There was a firefight. Tom's dead. Roxanne barely got out alive. House is closed until further notice. I'd rather not talk or think about it. I didn't want to tell you. Wanted this to be just our day. I want it. It is ours. Will you sit with me a while? Here's your coffee. Finally. Morning. 
so? Yesterday. What was that exactly? Don't remember, or you want me to remind you? You know exactly what I'm trying to say. What did it mean? Like, to you? I think it... I mean... I hope it was the beginning of something nice. Unless you see things differently. Ugh. It can be such a gonk sometimes. It ruined my plans, you know that? Was gonna leave Night City in the dust for good. Even started packing. But now, I think... I think I gotta stay. Ah, oh, well. Guess I'll have to make it up to you, won't I? Hmm. Yeah, that would be appropriate. Give me your hand, B. Why? What for? Don't say anything. Just give me your hand. All set. Congrats. Just gave you unlimited access to my pad. Whoa. Uh, asking me to move in? If it's what you want. Or just drop by when the urge grabs you. Don't know what to say. Nobody's ever done anything like this for me. Really shows trust. Wanna go there now? You can if you want. Gonna stick around for a bit before I head back. See ya, Judy. About what you sensed in me. Death. High time I faced it. Can't be sure it'll work, but I gotta try. Listen, whatever it is you're gonna try, just be careful, okay? I'm here waiting. Thanks. Do my best. <sighs> okay. Was good you called. Wish I'd have had the chance to. I told you. I said I wanted you to have my body. But... But I can't do it. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. We knew all along this is how it would play out. Don't. Don't fuck with me right now. Only if you cut your pathetic I'm sorry bullshit. Goodbye. High time. You 
you don't know. Hey, Mitch. Hey, let's get the fuck out of here, shall we? Hey, how are things? Is everything arranged? Everything's almost set. So you found it? Where we thought it would be? All plans laden in place? They are indeed. But someone is supposedly waiting for you. Come see us later. We'll talk about the who, what, and how. You'll come back, right? Rain Dance Club in Chicago. Ages ago. But I didn't edit them. No, we get the ready made. Just hey, Justin. you're here. <laughs> Jude, you made it. <laughs> I doubted you would come. Yeah, Carol gave me a ride. Never would have found this place otherwise. Yet here I am. Disappointed? That remains to be seen, child. Damn, I'm glad you're here. So fucking glad you didn't change your mind. <laughs> I think I made up my mind before you did. <laughs> It's just, uh... Hmm, you clearly got things you need to hash out. Leave your girls to it. Everything all right? Just here. Now. I think I realized I never felt right in Night City. I used to think there'd come a day when I'd finally call it home. Thought, any moment now I'll feel safe. Even comfy. But it was pure illusion. I know. Mm-hmm. Seems so far away, so innocent from here. That's a strange feeling I'm having, as if I was a fugitive almost. You're not running. You're getting a new beginning. It's a whole nother stage of life. Hmm. Interesting to hear you say that. You know, I used to mark time in stages. One juncture to the next. There was the mega building, hole in the wall phase, and then the group home phase, the mox phase. Every time, I thought I found a home. And every damn time, I came away disappointed. Life in Night City in a nutshell, I'd say. I know that now. I didn't have any doubts about leaving, you know? I gotta go. And find something new, more lasting. For yourself, for us. You'll see. We'll have a home. We'll be home soon. It's a vision I like. A lot. Me too. We're gonna be alright. If I can be sure of anything now, it's that. Feel better already? Heading out soon. Gotta get ahead of that storm. And stay on Pan Am's good side. Yeah. Carol said a thing or two. Warned me. Don't worry. You'll like her. So, we going? Got one last thing to take care of. It'll only take a sec. Okay. I'll be waiting right here. If I don't think it just right manually, it could blow us to bits. I think that's best avoided. I'm glad we're doing this. Meaning, leaving? Mm-hmm. Said goodbye to the girls at Lizzie's today. Almost all were sure I'd flake back out. And started a pool, you know? About me limping back home, tail between my legs. Like many of them. More times than they'd care to admit. Got a feeling majority's gonna be out some eddies. I ever tell you I planned this with Evelyn? Flight out of Night City to Bliss. Dreamed about what we do when we finally got the chance. I'm sorry, Judy. Don't let it bother you. I won't. Mentioned it because feels like I should let that dream go too. Hey, V. I know what you're thinking. Why is my crazy output leaving a message on the machine while I'm making breakfast? Well, <clears throat> 
get mushy when it comes to sharing feelings. So, uh, <clears throat> what the hell? I figured I'd just tell you here. V, I just wanted you to know that I'm happy for the first time in my life. And I wanted to speak of the devil. Safe. Uh... Morning. Morning, you. Gonna hop in the shower. Mm-hmm, me too. I'll be in the kitchen. What's wrong? Feeling worse? Just tired, is all. Been like this a week, V. I feel like... Like you're not telling me something. Did... Did something happen inside Mikoshi? Something you didn't tell me about? I'm not hiding anything, Judy. Just got this feeling you're cutting me out of your life. Out of us. I mean, is it the job? Don't worry, it'll all, it'll all work out soon. Work out. V, I'm not blind or stupid. I can see the wall you've put up. You're not letting me pass. <sighs> Sometimes I get the feeling you wouldn't even notice if I just up and disappeared. Anyway, I'll be outside. Maybe I'll catch a glimpse of the Crystal Palace. Could mistake it for Venus. V? I think I messed up. We're not talking about the Crystal Palace anymore, are we? It's weird as hell, but I think I might have just realized I never felt right here. I used to think I actually liked being one atom among many, anonymous and safe. But it was an illusion. I look at this city and feel... Like a lost atom? <laughs> Sometimes. But mostly... I feel alone. I know the feeling. Could it ever go away? Never. 
You know, I used to keep time in phases, from one juncture to another. The mega building hole in the wall phase, then the group home, the gang, the mox phase. Each and every time, I thought I'd found a home. And each and every time, I came away disappointed. This time's different. Come on, V. You don't believe that. Listen, V. I, I gotta get out of here. Ditch Night City, find something better, something more solid. You understand? I don't want you to disappear. Not now, I need you. V. You've found your place. You own this city. Look at yourself. Queen of the afterlife. A legend. Let me find out who I am. Find my truth. I mean, you know, ugh, it's so fucking hard to say. Especially to you. Thanks, Judy. For telling me. For everything. Mm. Whatever you're planning now. There any way I can help? No. It's something I gotta do on my own. So you're taking it? The job? I wish it was different. Between us. Mm-hmm. Me too. But it's gotta happen now. While I still have time, while I still have something to do. You'll always have something to do. There'll always be the next thing, next challenge. Till the bitter end. Where are you going? I know. Take care of yourself, V. And come back in one piece. You take care, too. run out. Mine hasn't just yet. I just want to discuss our options, calmly. Let's just think a sec about what to do. Yeah, I wouldn't mind hanging around a while longer. Johnny, my friend. What do I do, Alda? Simply enter the well. You will be reborn in V's body, while V becomes a part of me. Listen, Johnny, I'm glad we met, got to know each other, and I'm sorry. I don't want to die. Who does? But I just don't see a way out. Remember what I told you? When we talked to the Pista, Sophia. Yeah. Said you'd take a bullet for me. Ah. Oh. And I haven't changed my mind. But this bullet's aimed my way. Johnny. Don't make this any harder, eh? Right? Just... Don't forget I came. I'm white. 
wiser now. And I don't plan to waste it. So this is goodbye. Where to now? Hmm. I, I got, got a bus to catch. The person you just, uh, visited, he died a while ago? She. she. And not, not that long ago. You miss her? A little, yeah. When my grandpa died, I missed him a lot. But now I only miss him sometimes. Mm. the bus! Hey! Get off! Wait! The guitar! You forgot your guitar! No, I didn't. Haven't forgotten a thing. Never will. But all this, the pills, everything, to bed. If we don't try something, anything, we're both doomed. I know. Exactly why we'll do one last thing. Okay. Lost me. Realize the shit we've been through to get this far. Sure do. To let it all go now. Why? Cleanest, least bloody option. We try anything else, people will die. People die. It's the way of things. Am I worth their sacrifice? Are you? Besides, it's the only way we'll both be aware. Of what? Death? Mm -hmm. The moment life escapes. Hmm. 
Hmm. Never really gave it a thought. Funny how you still manage to surprise me sometimes. Might be something I learned from you. V, you sure about this? As long as you got nothing against it. Not how I'd have done it. But that's all right. Just like that? No pushback. Huh. Might have learned a little something from you, too. Is it time? You know, it really is beautiful. Been nice working with you, V. Yeah. With you too, Johnny. on my mind. A lot going on. What the hell happened to you? Got the chip out of my head. No, really? You're joking. No, just had the procedure. Not feeling so hot. Where are you? Orbital station. Arasaka's. <laughs> Think I'm gonna puke. V, you idiot. Get back down to Earth now. Doctor up here's a real cunt, let me tell you. Torturing me with stupid tests all the time. Don't take anything they give you. Nothing. Might sound cliche, but it feels like they're hiding something. Okay, enough. Get a grip. Grab a shuttle and get your ass back home. You know, I think I might be losing my mind. Oh, fuck. This place. It's killing me. V, you even hear what you're saying? I mean, Arasaka! You let him take you into orbit, dig around in your head, and now you think to complain? It's so good to hear your voice. I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. There. Fuck, V. I thought you were dead. I don't know what I'll do if I ever find out you're gone. Really want to see you again. I'm gonna hang up. And I want to see you back on Earth. In hours. No, 